everybody, my name is Shane Ninzi, and as you can see, I have really bad acne. See? <laughs> and I am currently trying to figure out what's going on with my skin. And to get it out there, I don't wear makeup every day, and sometimes if I do have to wear it like multiple times in a week, I don't wear it for long periods of time. I only wear it for like these types of videos and you guys I'm trying to do everything that I can to clear up my skin I just wanted to get that out there right now because I know some of you guys are like duh, 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 you should do this 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 I appreciate your help but I'm here to show you guys makeup and foundation on real skin my skin is insanely oily and obviously it's sensitive and acne prone so let's go ahead and try out this new foundation right here this is the all may make myself clear maximum strength salicylic acid acne treatment foundation i saw this on ulta brand new um there weren't too many shades from what i can remember i'll leave all that information here but it has salicylic acid and it has two percent salicylic acid in it it says to help heal and prevent breakouts skin looks poreless and appears refreshed skin feels hydrated and soothed uh, soft matte finish and buildable coverage so let's see if this stuff can cover my acne i got mine in the color 200 buff as you guys know one side with the sigma f80 brush or i use the zoeva kabuki brush i have an affiliate link down below for this and i'm going to be using the uh not real techniques i always use the real techniques i'm going to be using a beauty blender on the other side of my face and let's go ahead and see how this covers as you guys know i like to put it on this little makeup palette here all right seems to be really runny so let's do the brush side. It has a little bit of a smell. I don't know how to describe the smell. But it definitely seems to be a little bit more dewy. Alright, so here is the foundation on one side of my face. You can definitely still see a lot of like the redness and texture, but I mean it feels pretty good on the skin so far. So let's see what kind of coverage I can get on the other side, and that's about how much I use, so I still have a little bit left, but I definitely was using a lot more to kind of like really cover. So let's see how it works with the sponge. Beauty blender here. Oh, I can already tell a lot less coverage for sure oh wow oh it really soaks up it's really soaking up the product So here's the sponge side, and as you can see, it didn't really cover as much as the brush side. And this side, um, I tend to have more breakouts anyway. But looking at it um, up close, it does look really luminous and just kind of natural. Um, and it's definitely more shiny on the sponge side, for sure. So... Let's see if I can get some more coverage with the brush. I'm just gonna put some. All right, so here is makeup. Not the best coverage, so I would have to say if you guys have, you know, more, you know, acne like me, this isn't going to give the best coverage but if you just have you know no bumps and just a little bit of redness this might actually help a little bit I think it looks really really natural and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back all right so I'm back and I have the rest of my makeup on and I really actually kind of am digging this foundation it looks just really like healthy almost just really like natural and I did my normal like powder situation and everything like that and I think it looks pretty pretty bomb but yeah I mean so far I think it looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and set it with some setting spray the Gerard Cosmetics slay all day because you can never have enough 
setting spray and that's what I would do on a regular basis anyway so I'm just gonna set it with that but on my eyes I thought I would just play with a little bit of color I straight up look like I'm going to homecoming or something but it doesn't matter <laughs> I'm actually using the Kylie Jordy palette that just came out and the colors in here you guys are so beautiful it just looks like really flawless you can probably tell I stayed like oops I stayed in like in these purples area here but like oh and you guys said you were interested in like me doing a new palettes that I got type of video so I definitely will film that for you guys um, on my lips I have the Milani lipstick in matte naked number 61 looks like that so that's what I have on my lips and the cop the the time <clears throat> the time is currently 12 o'clock <clears throat> 12.03 to be precise and let's go ahead and just wear this foundation throughout the day let's see how it holds up with my oily face y'all know I am crazy oily and let's see if it like breaks me out because you guys know sometimes I get little pustules and things so so far so good it feels really amazing so let's see how it wears throughout the day Alright you guys, so I am back and it is currently 10.32 at night. So I've had this foundation on for 10 and a half hours and you guys, <laughs> I think I found a new foundation that really holds up well on oily, acne prone skin. You guys, this stuff lasted, like look, you guys know how oily I get, I really I look like I've only had this foundation on for maybe, I don't know, four hours or something. Like this is what my foundation looks like normally when I have foundation on for four hours. And I am pleasantly surprised. Like this held up so, so well. I do have a couple pustules down here. You can see I do have a little bit here, but like I'm, I always get oily here and around my nose, but like it really, really isn't that horrible. Just a kind of close-up situation but like really you guys it's not it's really not that bad I am so so shocked with how well this held up and like my eyeshadow held up really well you guys know that I put like foundation on my eyelids and it just held up really well like I do not look like I've had this foundation on for ten and a half hours this is insane I am shocked with the results so definitely check this one out if you guys are oily and have acne um, again this is the all mate make myself clear foundation I did not have any expectations for this at all and I am pleasantly surprised you guys check this out I got mine on Ulta.com by the way so thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'm gonna try and do some of the foundation recommendations that you guys have you know obviously recommended to me and I'll try and get more videos out there for you guys hopefully you guys are liking the videos that I'm putting out I'm trying to do Monday Wednesday Friday like one of those days um, I've been doing you know trying to do two days a week at least um, so I'll be up either Monday Wednesday or Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So check me out. Follow me on Instagram at Shreen Hensey. I've been putting a lot of just cool photos up on there, so follow me on there. And thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, you're not alone. I'm right there with you trying to figure out what to do with my acne, try to get it under control, and you're beautiful no matter what. So I just wanted you to know that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Bye!